Hi, this is, I'm Nancy Law. I'm here tonight at the Myasenia Gravis Foundation's 13th International Conference on Myasenia Gravis and Related Disorders. And I'm here today with a distinguished scientist and physician, um, Dr. James Howard from the University of North Carolina School of Medicine. One of the things that's so exciting is you've got a finger in so many different pies of what's happening in Myasenia Gravis research. And I wonder if you'd tell us a little bit about what's really exciting. Sure. Um, the Myasthenia community is very fortunate and industry, pharma, has taken a huge interest in our disease over the last few years. And a number of research programs, clinical trials that are in progress or are going to be coming down the pike uh, within the next few months to next year or two. Uh, we have clinical trials already in FCRN inhibitors uh, with a couple of con uh, companies. Uh, our big program has been, of course, in eculizumab, a complement inhibitor. That phase three trial has successfully completed uh, last fall, and we currently have the program at the FDA as we speak also with regulatory agencies in Europe and in Japan, and hopefully by fall we'll have an answer. Uh, we're excited, we think it will be approved, but one can never speak one, for these regulatory agencies. One never agencies. knows for the FDA, right. but, but it still is extremely exciting to think that we might have the first targeted therapy for myasthenia gravis since, what, Mestinon in 1955? And that was grandfathered in and never really approved, so uh, this will be a huge advance. And can you tell us, um, Dr. Howard, a little bit about what you mean by complement inhibitor? So complement's a very integral part of our immune system, and it's a surveillance uh, aspect of the immune system, and by targeting the fifth component of complement C5 uh, with a monoclonal antibody, we can now prevent its downstream effects with the mem what we call the membrane attack complex, which destroys tissue. And we have been using it in patients refractory to all other forms of treatment and have been gratified by the clinical results we've seen. Well, this is very exciting news for the MG community, and I thank you very oh, much for welcome. taking time out.